Hey up everyone, welcome to the video. Tonight I'll be doing me round 12 tips for the 2021 NRL Telstra Premiership. Let's start with the first game which is kicking off on Thursday night between Brisbane and Melbourne. This one's being played at Suncarp Stadium. Some facts about this game. So since 2006, Brisbane have only beaten Melbourne four times. So even though Brisbane won the most important game of all, since 2006, Melbourne have definitely have the, had the wood over Brisbane. Um, and Brisbane haven't beaten Melbourne since 2016. And some of the results in between there have been quite ugly for Brisbane. So Melbourne's beaten Brisbane 42-12, 30-0, 40 points to 4, 46 points to 8 and 40 points to 6. I can only see this game going one way. I'm going to go for Melbourne to win 13 plus. Even though Brisbane caused the upset of the year last week against East, I just think that Melbourne are going to be too good for Brisbane on the Thursday night. The first game on the Friday, and the first of two games, we've got North Queensland up against New Zealand. This one is being played at the Queensland Country Bank Stadium in Townsville. New Zealand's looking to do the league double over North Queensland. Um, th this game is literally a toss of the coin. It's really hard to get a read on both these sides. New Zealand are the most inconsistent side probably in the last 20 years. They're an accumulator ruiner and a multi ruiner. And for North Queensland, they started the year off really badly. And then they found some form and... They've kind of been hit and miss. They have had some injuries and all that. Uh, for this game, as I said, it's going to be a toss of the coin. But uh, with some of the players that are expected to be out for North Queensland, especially Jason Taumalolo, I'm going to go for New Zealand to win this game 1-12. I think New Zealand will complete the double over North Queensland. The main game on the Friday sees West Tigers up against St George. This one's being played in neutral territory at Western Sydney Stadium there. Uh, West Tigers, um, I mean, they've been in the same boat as some of the other clubs. Started off very poorly. They've been sort of hit and miss. They've had some really um, poor performances. They've had some all right performances. Um, for St George, they've hit the wall. Ever, ever since they beat Parramatta in that game, they've kind of hit a wall. They've had a lot of injuries and... Um, they haven't been playing too well. Last time that they played against the West Tigers, it didn't end too well for St George on that occasion. West Tigers looking to do the double over St George this year. Uh, with, with the players that St George have out, I'm going to go for West Tigers to win this game 1-12. I thought West come close to beating New Zealand last week. I tipped them. Um, but this week I'm going to go for them to beat St George at Western Sydney Stadium. The first game on the Saturday is Penrith up against Canterbury Bankstown. This one's being played at Penrith Park. For Penrith, um, they just keep winning. And in some of the games, they're absolutely thrashing the opposition, showing absolutely no mercy at all. Like. And for Canterbury, um, that wooden spoon is etching closer to them. With Canterbury Bankstown, they're going to have to at least win three games and hope that the, the teams around them West Tigers, St George, Cronulla, Brisbane keep losing because they've got to win those three games and they've only won one this year and that was against Cronulla and we all know what happened in that game. Uh, this could be a cricket score. I know I predicted a cricket score last week against Eastern Brisbane. I got that wrong but um, I think a lot of people out there will be predicting a cricket score this week. Nathan Cleary will probably score 50 runs and... and get uh, four wickets or something like that um, so I'm going to go with Penrith to, to win 13 plus over Canterbury Bankstown on the Saturday the next game on the Saturday sees South Sydney up against Parramatta, this one's being played at Stadium Australia home game for South Sydney uh, with both these sides less, uh, last week, I think the less said the better um, South Sydney, we all know what happened there disaster inept display Parramatta um, not much better uh, a lot of that comes down to Wonga Blake and his defence I mean all the tries were scored on his side of the field six missed tackles, four penalties drop balls and a sin bin um, 
for this game, I've been thinking about it a lot. Now, with Brad Arthur, Brad Arthur's a coach that's very loyal to his players. He's not like a Michael Maguire. He's not a Craig Bellamy where if you mess up once or twice, you're gone. You're in reserve grade. Brad Arthur likes to persevere with his players. Um, Wonga Blake's been really, really poor over the last two years. Uh, last year, on countless occasions, other sides just attacked that side of the field and power back the league to a lot of points. He's been missing for nearly the entire year so far. Murat and Niakari's been filling in. and Magically, as soon as Murat and Niakari's there, the defence is a lot better. As soon as Wonga Blake comes back in, defence is shite. Uh, so, my tip for this game all boils, all, all boils down to that. If it was Michael Maguire, Michael Maguire, if, he, if Wonga Blake was playing for West Tigers, we'd probably see Wonga Blake go stick your head up your ass and blow your nose until the pressure equalises. Or Craig Bellamy would probably see go stick your head down a toilet and flush until the pressure equalises. With Brad Arthur, I'm not too sure, he might persevere with uh, Wonga Blake. So, Let's just see if if um, if Parramatta to pick, if Brad Arthur picks Wonga Blake this week against South, I'm going to go for a South victory. If Brad Arthur drops Wonga Blake, I'm going to go for a Parramatta victory. So at this stage with, with Brad Arthur and what he's done in the past, I'm going to go for South in this game. I think that they're going to win 13 plus of Wonga Blake's there. The final game on the Saturday sees Sydney Roosters, Eastern Suburbs up against Canberra. This one's in neutral territory at the Central Coast there. Um, East lost last week against Brisbane, upset of the year so far. And Canberra, um, they started well against Melbourne, but it, it petered out in the end. Like, um, one thing I have liked about East over the, the course of this year is that they've had half their team out and they still show up and they're, they're still competitive and they're still going out there and, and trying their best. And for Canberra, we all know what, they're going through at the moment. They're going through a bit of a crisis. Uh, but in weeks gone by, if I'm going to compare the two sides up against each other and how they've been playing, I think Eastern Suburbs have been playing way better than Canberra. And for that reason, even with all these players that they got out, I'm still going to go for Eastern Suburbs to win by 1-12. to I think that they'll beat Canberra there on the Saturday. The first game on the Sunday sees Cronulla Sunderland up against the Gold Coast. This one's also in neutral territory. It's been played at the Coffs Harbour International Sports Stadium or City. Now, for you football fans out there like myself, this stadium was actually the uh, the site of the, the biggest ever World Cup qualifying victory when Australia beat American Samoa 31-0. Let that sink in for a moment. Uh, Cronulla... Um, they won last week, but they were great against their local rivals, St. George. Um, with, with this game and, and how it, how I think it will go, I think the thing with the with the goal course is that um, they're not great defensively, but uh, offensively they're, they're, they're pretty good. And Cronulla, um, in weeks gone by, their, their defence hasn't been that great. And when I'm looking at the form of the two sides... I'm going to go for the Gold Coast to win. I think the Gold Coast are probably going to win this match 13+. plus. Uh, I wasn't really convinced with Kudula last week. And uh, I think overall, with how the season's gone, Gold Coast are playing better. And I'm going to go for the Gold Coast to win. And the final game to close out the round is uh, Newcastle up against Manly. And this one's being played at Marathon Stadium, or as it's known now, McDonald, McDonald Jones Stadium. Uh, Newcastle, they're in a crisis at the moment. Manly uh, playing really well. They're red on at the moment. Lots of confidence. Um, so for that reason, I'm going to go for Manly to win this game. I think Manly's going to win 13+. Plus. Uh, Newcastle's got a lot of issues that they have to sort out. They've got a, a few players out. And I think Manly will be too good for Newcastle there on the Sunday. So anyway, that's me round 12 tips for the 2021 NRL Telstra Premiership. Hope you enjoyed those tips. Let me know your selections in the space below, in the comment section below. Anyway, this is Rugby League History signing off, and I'll catch us all later. All right, tatty bye now.